hello friends i hope you're doing well and that your weekend started off great and of course if you're watching this during the week by any chance i hope that your week is is up to a great start um in today's video i will be talking to you about uh some skincare products that i have been uh testing in the last um month and i wanted to actually give you some uh story behind the reason for this video you know there were so many brands that came up with skincare products such as huda beauty um fenty beauty kylie skin and there are so many more out there um it's a very lucrative business and so many cosmetic brands are actually turning their attention to skincare because this is also on demand and as you may know a lot of people always look for a solution for a good product that will uh, treat their skin and it will make them feel more confident and this is what a lot of companies are aiming for for today's video i will be uh, discussing with you two brands and one of them actually recently dropped their skincare line um, that is fenty beauty um, this is what their products look like this is the um, fat water pore refining toner serum is what it looks like um, this is the um, this is their SPF uh, which of course is um, if you when once it's finished you can remove this top um, basically and refill it with a new one um, and of course uh, their total cleanser uh, basically this is, these are the three products that they came up with and I was able to get my hands on them um, it was kind of difficult because at the first of course um, in the first lounge they were already gone but I managed to get them all together um, the value was about $75 but plus tax and I, don't, I believe the shipping was free if I'm not mistaken but it was around eighty dollars, basically. Um, and the way they arrived, um, they did not come with any boxes. They just came like that, and they were. Uh, this uh, serum was sealed as well as the cleanser. You can see I've broken the seals. Um, here, the on the back of each of the products. I mean, except the. Um, this one came with a box but i threw it away so i'm not gonna be able to <laughs> uh, share any directions or any ingredients about this product because i threw away the box uh, maybe i should have kept it but that's okay um but basically for these two products they have the stickers on the back that tell you more about the product how to apply it um and of course the ingredients and also the recommended time frame to use them is 12 months uh, so the aim for the cleanser is that it's supposed to keep your skin clean soft without stripping or drying and that it removes makeup as well um it's um, usable day and night which is great and basically it's entire purpose is to remove any impurities from your face um, and without causing any you know acne or any dryness to your skin so essentially it's like a food for your skin that will maintain it clean and moisturized and just glowing and great <laughs> Um, so far my impression of it is that it's great it doesn't it did not cause any pimples on my face I like the idea that you can twist the top and squeeze out some as much as you want from the product I personally don't use much from it because of the product because it it gets foamy pretty well and I think it's gonna last for some time I, I like this product so far it, I have not seen any issues um, on my skin if, from using it um, it smells nice it doesn't smell in any like toxic uh, way um, and it's fresh and also it, it it maintains my skin pretty well hydrated and it feels clean afterwards um, 
the other product I also liked a lot was this um, the fat water pore refi refining toner serum the good thing is also that you can use it day and night on clean skin and one thing that made me an impression that is that it said that you can that you can use the product with fingers um, at first I was using uh, cottons to wipe my face with it but um, it's better if you do use your fingers really because you can um, moist your entire you can you can apply it all over your face and it doesn't uh, up, the product does not get absorbed by the cotton um, that's that's at least my what I realized when I switched to using finger to apply and I, I honestly just dip one finger and it's it gets so much product in it that I'm able to apply it all over my face and I think it's gonna last me quite a long time so I I'm I'm pretty impressed also with this product because it, it definitely leaves the skin soft afterwards um, and it absorbs a little slow but it, that's not an issue I think it, it's, it does quite a good job um, to after you've cleansed your face to um, apply this serum um, it, it's definitely a favorite now of mine because of the that immediate effect that it does to my face um, and I definitely look forward to more products from this line um, so far their products seems seem to work um, at least for me but obviously that can be a different story for other people um, but as far as just maintaining the pores clean um, removing makeup and just um, maintaining the skin hydrated and glowy I think they do a pretty good job in that regard and that's essentially what their the purpose of these products are um, the SPF um, does not make my skin oily as I was really hoping on that effect because I used other SPFs which tend to do that to my skin but it, it works very well with makeup just as they claim um, and I used it also underneath my foundation several times and it works pretty well um, I, my, I have a combination skin and my T-zone usually gets pretty um, even right now I, as I touch it I can feel that it's oily already but I personally like this um, SPF because it's it works fine. I do recommend you if you want to you can try their product either individually or all together. I think all together is the best way to do it. It's and you get a better value for you for them. Um, the other brand that I will be talking to you about is the Wishful uh, brand sub brand actually by Huda Beauty. Um, they came. Their first product was actually this uh, Wishful Yo Glow Enzyme Scrub, which I really, really, really adore. It's so good. Um, no pain when you rub it on your face. Um, it removes impurities immediately, and it feels after. And your skin feels after really soft and just amazing amazingly smooth i i'm really impressed by the product and i really do recommend you guys to try it if you are considering um purchasing something new for your skin um by the way all these products that i'm talking about right now they are not specifically to treat acne but to help prevent that from happening uh they are just to give like um essential uh, nutrients to your skin and to feed it uh, what's necessary in order for your skin to look smooth soft moisturized um, glowy and just great but do not think in any way that because their dermatologist tested that you can uh, treat acne or any problems with your skin definitely not also if you have um, very sensitive skin Please um, test it somewhere on your um, arm or uh, consult with a dermatologist. Do not take any risk in trying the product if you're not sure what the uh, effects may be afterwards. 
so this is about the wishful your glow i definitely do like this product it's also uh usable in the evenings and in the, and during the days also before makeup and after makeup you can use it to um remove dead skin from your lips uh, as well um your neck and basically yeah it's you can use it for anywhere on your body if you need uh some uh, recovery in certain area even this portion of your body if it's too rough you can try to rub it and I'm pretty sure it will be great also your hands um, even Huda herself shows videos in which she's using this product uh, to smooth her hands to remove dead skin um, I definitely do plan to maybe try it when it's the winter time because of the um, those cold days really do dry my skin so much that i will definitely be looking for uh, something that is um that will smoothen my uh, skin and i'm pretty sure this product may be a very good option to try for this winter um so the other the other two products that the line um recently came up with um that recently launched are the wishful chin lift sculpting sheet mask and the thirst trap cocoon mask which is uh, also a cooling mask and um, it's basically drenching your face in so much moisture it's it's amazing it's incredible um basically this mask um, I actually did not apply the first time the right way. I was supposed to put uh, through the holes my ears and it was supposed to just cover this area. However, I just slapped it on my neck only, but whatever works. I, 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 I know it's not really the right way, but it was still fine. Um, and this mask actually is not, um, does not contain any um, moisture. It's not. Uh, it's not drenched in anything to moisturize your skin here. Uh, it just has like a jelly port part of it, which of course the jelly part will be placed on this way. Um, and actually, I the first time I used the mask, I decided to put it away in the refrigerator and reuse it again because it's not like the regular mask, which is only for one um, use and then you throw it away because it, obviously your skin has uh, soaked up everything from from what from that um, sheet mask and then it's all dry and, and you have to throw it away but it's supposed to yeah m maintain your chin intact and you know uh you should be able to notice less wrinkles um it's supposed to tighten this area um but i think if you have some double chin that that's something else and you need to exercise for that but it's supposed to just tighten the skin and um this thirst strap is really really um definitely uh the name justifies the product because when you put it on your face it's soaked it soaks it so much that it feels like an amazing experience it's refreshing and it has a, a low vera which obviously when, as soon as you pull it out of this um packaging you definitely yeah you can see how much um uh, how uh soaking wet the sheet mask is and it's a uh, it's a little bit thick the sheet is a little bit thicker than usual than the usual um sheet masks which was kind of um surprising to me but obviously that's a different idea and I I like that. I don't think it's any, there's any issue <laughs> with it, but I just thought it was a little bit um, unusual. Um, definitely, even after I removed the mask after like 10, 20 minutes, I mean, the mask was still wet. It wasn't dry or getting anywhere near dry, um, but it definitely, it will soak your face in so much moisture that it it's it feels great it's definitely a refreshing mask and i i keep both of these 
in my refrigerator for extra uh, cooling and comfort when I put them on my face you consider to invest your money into buying products to maintain your skin clean and moisturized and glowy and just everything the best for it I do urge you to consult with any professional um, if you're not sure that a product would work for you um, because definitely this some of these products may have an adverse effect on your skin and I'm pretty sure you don't want to go through any <laughs> any uh, bad experiences um, overall I think the brands um, have definitely great launches so far um, I do recommend you to try them if you're into something new or are wondering whether that would be worth your money because they are somewhat pricey and and also because of the fact that so many brands are turning and are turning their attention to selling skincare products that may be a little bit challenging to decide which brand to try but i hope that this video at least gave you some insight on these products and uh, also made you to make up your mind a little better and to try something new um and i hope that if you like this video you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel and click on the bell in order to receive any any notifications about future videos and of course if you like you can also follow me on instagram if you have any ideas for other videos or you'd like to share your experience with any of these brands that i discussed in this video or other ones that maybe i should try or others should try you can share that in the comments below and of course I would appreciate any constructive criticism if you have any of, of any sort but I also hope that you enjoy your day and I'll see you next time. Bye!